Hi, I'm Ricky Johnson here at Red Bull Straight Rhythm, and we're at BF Goodrich. Are you driver enough? And I want to find out if I'm driver enough. Terry, you're one of the top driving instructors. How you Do doing? I have what it takes? Well, we'll know in a few minutes, won't we? What exactly are we going to experience here? We're going to run some Mustangs pretty hard, uh, but literally comparing tires. BF Goodrich has a brand new Comp 2 all season uh, high performance tire and run it against uh, the Continental. They're their best. I want you, you to drive both cars the same way and see how you feel at the end. So let's go check out the cars and see what we can do. Let's go. There you go, a little wheel spin. Flat out, looking good, looking good. Flat out, flat out. Stop. Sweet. The key is just get a feel for steer and response, for transition. Notice how flat it's corner. You can go a little harder here. Uh, yeah, a little more, a little more. Looking good. And that's all in the wet on the sealed pavement, too. All right. That was awesome. Are you ready to see what the competitor does? Let's go. Let's do it. Little wheel spin like we've had. Looking good. Runner on down here. Stop. This is not the traction that I have. When, have, you, have you ever thrown a flat rock across a pond? This exactly. And, 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 yeah, exactly. All right, for the slalom, get your eyes up, back and forth. Notice how much more steering you have to throw in. Oh, oh, the rear's coming around now on this car. Wow. Terry, that was awesome. I had a great time. Thank you so much. Number one, a nice job, but give me your feedback. What did you actually feel? Well, between the two, I really felt the stopping power of the BFG gave me a lot more forward force when we did our, our braking drill. Then when we did our slalom, it never kicked the traction control off so I could drive faster all the way through it. Also, I really noticed a lot of great forward traction. So it didn't push and I didn't add more wheel and then to have the rear response. So when I got into the competitor's tire, I found I was going with more wheel, which then in turn would get it so hard it would push, then the back end would jump out, then the traction control would step in and then would stop my forward bite and all the different stuff. So that's, a, that's not just one thing, that's a lot when it comes to a tire. It's a lot when it comes to a tire and that's why we have to keep a tire pressure gauge laid over here on the counter because so many people think the competitive tire is underinflated. That's what it responds like. Terry, thank you so much, I had a great time. I trust Goodrich on the track and I trust him on the street.